Hi guys and welcome. This is going to be your August 2019. This is the how or what. Well, it's how do they feel about you. But I am marketing this as what aren't they telling you because they probably are not telling you how they really feel either, right? So um, we're going to be finding out how they feel through what they're not telling you. That's what we're going to be calling it. This is for the beautiful sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Scorps, I have good news. You guys have taken the beating, taken the licking, and you still been ticking. Please don't copyright me for that line. Thank you, spirit. Um, your cards have been jumping, jumping, jumping all over the place. Uno momento. But I want to let you know uh, that it is good energy coming from your person. So the person that you are connecting with definitely feels like you are the one. Um, and I want to say that before I get started, because I know you guys have been through hell, some of you guys, in the last couple of months. I don't know at this point whether this applies to the same group of Scorpios. There are a lot of you out there, but I just want to say that I remember reading something like this previously before shit got bad during the Mercury retrograde reading last month. So this one is a little bit better. Um, the energy of the person that you're connecting with, um, I do see what's going on. And I'm just going to let you know right now, right off the top, this screams X, X, E, X, X, whatever you, however you, because some of you um, mark your X as an X, so, you know, but seriously, this is a message that they probably have been telling you guys and you jump on the defensive about the energy that you're holding from the past. So in true fixed sign nature, you're not with your at your ex actively, of course. You're with this person. But the things that they've done to you, you're holding on to. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, of course, this is for August 2019. So crowning this reading, we have true love, okay? So we also have passion. And we have playfulness. So the person that you're connecting with gets you. As with that person in the past, did not get you. You could be, before I, I don't even have the cards out, okay? No cards out. You know how I get down when I start hearing things. I'm sure there's going to be some air somewhere. I feel like if there's playfulness in the spread, you could be a Scorpio that has an air, a air rising moon or Venus. One of those type of people that feel very deeply, but you're slow to move because you're constantly thinking. And I'm prone here to feel like it's fixed air, Aquarius, and fixed water, Scorpio. So if that's who you are, this is probably going to resonate with your with you and your situation a little bit more. Um, it. Your person feels like it took hell to even get you guys together and they finally got you to a place where you're opening up more and blah, blah, blah. Okay. I can see that through to the peak of the past where I'm about to get started. But first, I'm going to get your main energy. You already know how we do that. So they feel like you are their true love. You're their true love. And although they have all of this passionate passion about you, and although they're playful moments the peak at the past tells me that you're holding on to things and the bottom of the deck energy tells me that you want to be in control a little too much um and that's that fixed nature in you let's go universe spirit angels and my guys go ahead and let me know what the scorpio's partner isn't letting them know please support the messages thank you that i have here there is my king of cups all right, so that's that's you, okay? That represents your sign. Show me, spirit. You could be connecting with water, but there is air here. Even if it doesn't come out in these cards, I feel it. Somebody has an air rising. Thank you. This is Aquarius. Thank you very much. That's the star. I already told you I felt it was very Aquarian-like. Someone definitely got some Aquarius fixed air somewhere. Okay. Show me, spirit. What is Scorpio's partner not letting them know? 
support the messages that I have here, please. Because I see that you are too on top. Oh, yes, baby. Ace of Cups. There is a water on water type of thing up in here. Absolutely. And the Three of Wands. There is my fire. All right, now. All right, so I see what I need to see here. They're in love with you. Show me the last card, Spirit. Whoa, okay. We got justice. So if you are cross in the Wheel of Fortune, I'm going to take that. All right, yes, yes, yes. It, they feel like it was a chance meeting. You guys were not even supposed to meet. The way that you guys came together was under some type of circumstance. I'm looking at chemistry, and the Wheel of Fortune is supporting that. Last card on the main energy is justice. Let's pause for a second. Let me get this. Yes. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness, Scorpio. All right. I already told you that I normally don't give you the main energies. Let's pause for a second and talk about the past. Because I see exactly what I need to see. Like I said, <clears throat> there was a vacation, a retreat, somebody's house, vacation. You guys met during some type of weird circumstance. This is what I'm feeling. Just by chance, the world uh, uh, confirms and, and supports this retreat. Something, something shifted. Something pulled you guys together. This was a chance encounter for you guys to meet. Scorpio, you were going back and forth with yourself and probably deciding to put yourself, to pump the brakes on even dating anybody when this person came along. And what I'm seeing here is it was an instant connection, an instant connection. The Two of Cups supports my new love card, okay? And Scorpio, you were, come on, stop turning blue. Come on now. Scorpio, you were a little apprehensive, okay? Because you had, you it could have been the furthest from your mind. You were just out with your family, maybe on a family reunion, maybe on a cruise. You were not, listen, meeting somebody during this chance encounter could have been the furthest from your mind, but you got an opportunity to go somewhere and you went, okay? And then finally, here's the release your ex. Things were unbalanced in that last relationship. Do you see this? There we go. Things were very unbalanced. And so all you've been trying to do this entire time, Scorp, is balance out your emotions and, and properly place them where they're supposed to be placed. And the person that you're connecting with now, you have to understand that their memories and what they hold true is is everything recent because that is their path with you. And I don't feel like you're nest I feel like you tried to make that situation work with that with that past person. This is the past energy. And this two of cups is letting me know that although you two connected instantly, it also tells me a little bit about what happened in your past relationship. The cycle had came to the cycle. There were cycles. And in the cycle, you were supposed to meet the new person. And this cycle that came and closed, came and went. You were supposed to start actively working on trying to connect with somebody else. That six of pentacles lets me know that there was a constant up and down, up and down. Try to make it work. Walk away. That relationship that you had was a very long one. Okay? It was very long. And I can look at that and tell. All right? So... Your partner that you're connected with now is that new love in the past. I feel like in the last six months, maybe a year, congratulations if you guys are doing that. Um, but it took you a while to open up. So you could have been messing with this person or dealing, connecting or dealing with this person, whatever your verbiage is, for, you know, longer than 12 months. But to you, Scorpio, you don't count a relationship, especially this person that has air or you can have a fiery moon here I'm looking at. Um, you do not consider this a full fledged relationship until you started opening up and feeling exactly what they were feeling about you the entire time. Okay. I'm done with the past. I hope that made sense. I hear that loud and clear.
So this person is in love with you and it took you a while. Let's talk about the bottom of the deck and then we'll go back to the main energy. So I see chemistry. That's what you guys had. It was, I told you that you clicked instantly, but this is where you're, what you're struggling with. And we got two sixes. Sixes is about the transitions. Okay. So we had a six of pentacles in the past. Okay. Balancing that situation that you went through with the past with that person. There was some type of finances involved. There was, it was, it was a lot, right? And then in your, in your energy now, is the six of wands. So your partner is telling you, I got this. I'm not her. I'm not him. Give me a chance is what they're saying. You guys got chemistry and the wheel of fortune. Like I said, this is what lets me know that, you know, you had the world that brought you guys together. Accomplishment, integration, cycles. Okay. And then you got the wheel of fortune just by chance on that chance encounter, you guys instantly clicked. I see it then and I see it right now. It, this person, Scorpio, gets you. And no matter what you've been through with this last person, you bring this baggage into this relationship, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is supporting chemistry. You have free yourself. Absolutely. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Not so much as your life in this particular case. Your, your person is wanting you to not be bound by the past, okay? And they want you to know that you will be successful in doing that with this six of wands. They see that no matter what you've been through in the past, that they are here to support you. And they see you guys being successful together. And finally, we have let go of control issues in your bottom of the deck main energy. And this shows your plight. This shows what you have been going through. And this also shows what your partner, of course, is not telling you. They've been through hell. And they've been through hell because you, you are flat out refusing to do things in previous relationships that you did in this one. But some of that stuff, some of those things, Scorpio, are essential for the movement in this relationship. You can't sit stagnant because when you tried, it did not work with the past. You have to let the past go and give it another try. This person will appreciate your effort and you may not have to work that hard. It can be vice versa. You may have tried too hard with the past and they didn't appreciate it. You may only have to do one, not even 50% of that same thing. And this person is saying... I see the success in you. I see a success in us. They want you to free yourself from this, this ex. And like I said, you're not with this person, Scorpio. You're with the new person. You're not with the person from the past. But you're so bogged down in that energy of the past that it is affecting this. You guys heard it before. So the King of Cups, the Star. So there is hope, healing, and optimism for this. Your person knows that you are the wounded warrior, but so are they, like I said. And that is supporting letting go of control issues. So they've been working with you before we get in that main energy, I just want to say. They've worked, they're working with you, and they're not going to give up on you, period. King of Cups here with the star. So you have opened up, but they're the one that is very, very expressive to you. They express everything. You're dealing with somebody here. It could be water. I see fire. I see this air sign. I see I see fire. Yes, and I see air. Okay, let's break it down before I close you guys out. There is water here. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing, again, with a fellow water sign personality-wise. You guys are like this. But you all know or should know by now that it takes more than personalities to get you clicking. This person has some air somewhere in the areas that you need, Scorpio. Because this particular Scorpio person, you are holding on. So I know there has to be double fix somewhere in your personal planets. Okay? There has to be a fixed element of fire, which would be Leo, and of water, I'm sorry, of air, which will be Aquarius in either your rising moon or Venus. Now, 
the person that you're connecting with complements your energy. Okay. And they, you guys may be alike, like pull those birth charts. You guys may have some, this is easy. Okay. This is easy. Like Sunday morning with this person. It's not the drama of the past because that person, you and that person were complete total opposites. So they have expressed themselves way more than you. Let me hurry up. Okay. Hope, healing, and optimism. They are very optimistic about this. They are 100% in love with you. Okay. They are trying to plan you guys' future. And they haven't told you this because they know that you tried to marry somebody in the past. You tried to either get married, you, you were engaged, Scorpio, something didn't work. And they're telling you, but I see us. I see us. It doesn't matter what happened. I want you and I see us, okay? What I just pulled up was that for yourself, that was that six of wands, the success, okay? And then we end with justice. So if you are cross-watching for this Scorpio, I just told your business. We were hopeful, okay? Although we are fixed air with this Aquarian card, but we end with justice and that's the Libra, okay? If you can see that. So if you are cross watching for the Scorpio and you feel this way, I just told your business. Okay, so getting back to you, Scorpio, they are in love with you and they're not going to give up on you. They really want you to release this energy of the ex and they see success in this relationship. So um, they're in love with you and they're not going to give up. They, it's been hard. You've been through, when I see justice, child support, alimony, hell with somebody. That is what I'm seeing. I see that. But what the, the the last person's trash was this person's treasure. And you are a treasure to this person that is in love with you. Okay? Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Scorpio. This was beautiful and I'm happy to be able to deliver it because it's been real rough for you guys in the past couple months. Mercury is out of retrograde. We do got some new stuff going on for the month of September. But we ain't in September yet. Rock with this energy Take it one day at a time and I am up out of here. So like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys next month when we do it again. Bye, Scorpio. And again, my call to action. I know it's hard. If this resonates with you and you want to hit me up, you already know how to do that. Readings at MarvelousMadam.com and I will hear you out. Give me a couple days to respond, but I'll do it. Bye, guys.